Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my Gravekeeper's deck. Uh, I've been meaning to do, actually I was going to post this deck way back when, shortly after they got their new cards in Legacy of the Valiant. Um, but I for, apparently I forgot about it I guess, and no one really uh, posted any comment about Gravekeepers. They were like, I was getting requests for like Cyber Dragons and other stuff. Um, but anyway, I remembered to do the deck now, so I actually am going to post it here. Uh, the deck is more of, because of the new support cards they got, it's more of a control-based deck. Uh, and Gravekeepers always kind of was a control-based deck, um, but they're probably even more so now, as we'll see shortly. So it's also, I wanted to mention that it's like a pure Gravekeeper deck. So, for example, I'm no longer running, uh, at least for now, not with this build, I'm not running Malefic Stardust Dragon in here, because he's typically a pretty good card to run in this deck because of the field card. So anyway... For starters, we have one Gravekeeper's Oracle. This is the new big boss monster they got. He's not really that necessary, um, but I just put him in here, include him, just because to show that they got a bunch of new cards. Uh, same goes for Gravekeeper's Shaman. Really, for Gravekeepers, if you want to play the deck competitively, it's not about the high-level monsters that they have. It's more about the lower-level monsters. Uh, it's really their Recruiter with Descendant, uh, Commandant, Spy... Uh, and, and some of the new cards that they got, which we'll see shortly, did actually add a little bit of synergy for the deck. A little bit of speed and consistency. So next, one Gravekeeper's Visionary. Uh, he was one of their... He's an older boss monster. He was reprinted in Merrick's structure deck as a common, so he's not too hard to find. Uh, and then the last boss monster they have is Gravekeeper's Chief. In my opinion, he's still the best one that they have. Uh, mainly because you can just tribute him, tribute summon him, and then special summon a great keeper from the graveyard. So uh, he, he's still very consistent. So in Necro Valley, he's like a monarch basically because he's got 2400 attack with Necro Valley. For the low level monsters, one great keeper is Heretic. Uh, he's a new card they got. He's actually pretty good because when Necro Valley's in the field, uh, they can't get rid of him with normal means. Like they can't kill him with. Dark Hole, uh, they can't kill him with Torrential, or uh, they can't target him. Basically, he's unaffected by other cards' effects as long, or all other card effects as long as Necro Valley's on the field, which makes him really annoying because then he they're staring at a 2300 attack monster that they can't really get rid of. The only way to get rid of him at that point is to either get rid of Necro Valley or, and then get rid of him or uh, just run over him with a bigger monster. Uh, next we have one Gravekeeper's Assailant, just for disruption, change the battle position of stuff, and then one Gravekeeper's Guard, this is basically like a compulsory evacuation device, uh, when he's flipped, and he's got 1900 defense, so he's got pretty decent defensive stats, he's a very good first turn set, uh, if you don't open up with Spy, and then one Gravekeeper's Priestess, uh, basically this is Ishizu from the, from the original anime, um, if I was running a competitive Gravekeeper deck, I probably would not run this. Uh, mainly because the problem with her is her effect is not really all that useful. And her stat, more than that, her stats are actually pretty lousy. She's only got 1,000 attack. Uh, next we have one of the better new cards they got. Uh, Gravekeeper's Nobleman, a.k.a. Uh, Merrick. So this looks like Merrick and that looks like Ishizu. Uh, Nobleman is actually pretty decent. I only have one copy, um, but this card, it's a good alternative to Gravekeeper's Spy, uh, in my opinion. So it's a pretty good card that they got. Speaking of Gravekeeper's Spy, I'm running two Gravekeeper's Spy. Originally I had three, uh, but then I replaced my third one with this. And it's the only difference is this has really bad stats. It's only 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense, whereas this is 1,200 attack and 2,000 defense. So with Necro Valley, this is a 2,500 defensive wall. Um, so there's a lot more advantages to Spy in that sense. Um, but the difference is Gravekeeper's Nobleman can fetch Spy, put him face down. Um, but he's not limited to like an attack 1,500 or less like Spy is. Like he, he can actually pull anything, including the big guys too. So he's a good way to bring those out. Uh, next, three Gravekeeper's Descendant. This is probably one of the most important cards, so that's why I'm running three of it. 
Uh, originally, I was thinking maybe I should keep three spy and drop this to two for the gravekeeper no man, uh, but I decided to keep it like this. Next, three gravekeepers commandant. Three is very important. It's how you get to Necro Valley uh, because the deck doesn't run terraforming, and with Necro Valley, he's a 2100 beat stick, so he can slam into stuff like Cyber Dragon. Next, three gravekeepers recruiter. This is Odeon. So now we have. Shizu, Odeon, and Merrick. We got all three of them now. Odeon probably is the best, although uh, Merrick is a close second. I would say Odeon is the best mainly because his effect always will be able to go off. And he searches to your hand. So, well, I don't know. It's, it's debatable. I just find Recruiter more effective because he is this guy summons something phase down which most of the time the only good target for that would be like spy or uh possibly one of the big monsters like shaman or something whereas with recruiter you can just get descendant or whatever you need <clears throat> or actually he will fetch uh commandant so you can just discard him for necro valley that's that's the main reason why i like him more Next, three, Necro Valley. Uh, Necro Valley is their field card. Without this, the deck kind of uh, isn't really all that good. So three, Necro Valley is a must. Gravekeeper is probably the first deck besides... Well, actually, yeah, it is the first deck that really made uh, field cards have an actual presence in the game. I think the other deck that had field cards that people actually used was Crystal Beast, but they came later. Uh, then we have three hidden temples of Necro Valley. So this is a new card they got. This with Necro Valley forms a really good control-based combo. Uh, neither player can special summon. So basically it gives you uh, kind of like almost like a royal oppression sort of thing where now now the, it slows the game down. Um, but because you have Necro Valley, as long as you have Necro Valley, you will maintain the advantage. Uh, and then one royal tribute. Two pot of duality. One, the Lord of Darkness, because all of them are dark except for Commandant. One, Dark Hole. Those are just staple cards. Two, MST, more staple cards. And then two, Gravekeeper Stell. Uh, basically, it's like um, that water card, Recycling, but only for Gravekeepers. And then for Traps, two, Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley, because I got lucky enough to pull two of these. One from each of my boxes from uh, Legacy of the Valiant. One Compulsory Evacuation Device, Torrential Tribute, and Bottomless Trap Hole. Uh, if I wanted to change something like this, I'd probably change Compulsory for Mirror Force. So for extra deck, I'm not actually going to include an extra deck for this for these guys because, like I said, they're not really extra deck heavy. Uh, they're one of the few decks that can actually still hold their own without relying too much on the extra deck. Um, but uh, I guess you guys could probably figure out you could run... Uh, you know, rank 4. Uh, you can't really do rank 5. So really just rank 4. So I would run like Utopia, My Stroke, you know, some of the more mainstream staple Xyz monsters. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the deck, what you would change. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.